like to have a maybe more active role uh, mm -hmm. to support the, the, the original officer. Uh, and also more active role actually in activities. So mm -hmm. not being just a host country, but also uh, to benefit as much as we can from visiting experts, from discussions, that's why, and also contributing. Yeah. So provide different kinds of learning you know, experiences, spaces, or infrastructure if there is anything. So just uh, let me know, we can discuss it yeah. later. Juan will definitely, can definitely share with you that, uh, the program. Um, and of course we have, I, I was just in Georgia working on a new anti repair guidelines um, and there we invited a lot of, uh, several kind of like, uh, representatives from the government and from different services yeah. and oblasts. Mm -hmm. You heard about that, yeah. So, um, so uh, we're very, I think it's a very big privilege to be in a place. What we say, what we say is the El Nata de Puebla, we are here but now it is, it lives here <laughs> with this office, so we're very more than happy to uh, work that way with you. Um, so this, this is, so this is the these are the offices, <laughs> and then um, I will just show you. We have uh, in, we sort of this a meeting room in the front uh, that we share with you. And then here we have a training room where we're just getting up and running. So this is where we have some of our resources stored. Also, um, our these documents right now, the applications have just arrived, I think, last yeah. week. So <laughs> I really apologize for this. But um, uh, we are working with some interns, or we also yes. recruited some interns from the university. To, to train with us and to learn with us and to participate in activities. So I think we're trying to get uh, connected with all the different layers uh, yes. of maybe uh, uh, what we call more competencies and my yeah. we will start to have more on choices of this year for working to the population to learn the kids which way, what is the orientation, what is their choices and choices in this year. Mm -hmm. Because it's not always appropriate. And here is our, uh, I, I'm sure you pass it to the Ministry of Health, but just uh, additionally, report for, for activities for 2016, which is uh, all in, in, in details and all, uh, yes, one you have that in English. The mountains here we have, yeah. so the nice mountains here. We have the growing relations with Lithuania. We have the children of Padaiga. Yeah, we have Padaiga and uh, Professor Benetis. Oh, they need to see it. And uh, some other people, I think six or five or six people from the, from the university. Oh, so. And it's you, it's you know, we have a interest committee on the board of public nation. Okay, well, you some homework. <laughs> <laughs> but these are some of our publications, some examples of them. Here's just a little notebook. But uh, for your attention, this is Lessons on Transforming Health Services Delivery. And, uh, yeah. So and we will be, I just wanted to tell you one uh, that we also would like to engage you in, and depending on your availability, of course, in the discussions that we are organizing within, within our national work, reform and particularly the issues that we are raising in Europe, uh, uh, reforming of uh, primary care. Yes, uh, we will be talking a little bit about uh, this afternoon. Uh, but uh, it's a lot of work that, need, that needs to be done, not only like uh, just general restructuring, but maybe we will go deeply for redesigning the whole care based on uh, you know, principles of uh, you know, uh, merging uh, value-based healthcare and uh, ICTs. That's, that's yeah. the most challenging exactly. issue yeah. that, we, that people are raising.